been a lot of cheering about this rally, maybe too much cheering. It's my Bono imitation. I'm still pushing for Pope Bono. I think it could happen, a thousand more I know. Uh, look, there's been a lot of talk about this rally, a lot of talk about the next bull market. Is it coming? Has there been too much cheering? Spencer Jacob, our head of the tape columnist, is here today. This is what you were writing about today. Uh, there's been a lot of people throwing out numbers about mutual fund flows, all that stuff, what it all means. What does it all mean? Well, you know, what I looked at specifically was mutual fund flows are, are very, very closely watched. I mean, they tell you what retail investors are doing. And I think that they're both sides of the argument, the bullish and bear sides, mm -hmm. are inferring a little bit too much of the numbers. On the one hand, you look at when, when retail investors start uh, putting money into, into stock funds. You get everyone and his brother saying, there's money on the sidelines coming into right. the market. Now, that's, that just simply is false. That doesn't, that's not the way that the market works. I mean, there's money on the sidelines. You know, if I buy some stock from you, then you have money, and then your money sure. is on the sidelines. There's no, there's it's no money such thing as money hands there's, so much. Well, there's money, right. but money changes hands every day in the market. Right. So what is happening is that people are willing to accept a lower return, or to accept more risk, or accept a lower return from, from stocks because they're sick of of earning nothing in money markets mm -hmm. and and getting very low bond yields, and that that may be happening, but that doesn't really represent a flow of money. You can't look at mutual fund flows and really draw conclusions from that. On the other hand, there are people who are bearish who are saying, look at this, you know, last month we had the, the largest flow uh, into equity mutual funds ever. Mm -hmm. And it was significantly higher than the previous record, which was February 2000. Well, gee, what happened which, a month later? On hmm, the surface know. of it, though, that sounds pretty stunning. It sounds pretty stunning. Um, I mean, it, January is a big month for mm -hmm. reallocation. I'm not saying that it's a good sign. You know, it's uh, compared to the other, to the, 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 bullish argument about money on the sidelines, which makes no sense at all. It does make some sense to look at the market and say, well, retail investors are are now putting a lot of money into stocks because historically retail investors have are very bad investors. They right. their timing is bad. You know, if you look at you know Dalbar and others have done studies where the typical investor in mutual funds lags the market by four or five percentage points. A huge, huge difference over many years. So their timing is bad. But the one month's data doesn't tell you that much because if you look at last year or the year before or the year before that, on average you had outflows. Almost every single month had outflows from stock funds. So it's not like this has been building up for a so, long time. So, Spencer, what conclusion are you drawing from everything you're seeing right now? The, uh, the conclusion that I would draw is that you, you, the data, it's too sketchy to draw any conclusion from mm -hmm. at all the, in terms of flowing into. I, I, that's, that's the point that I'm making. But uh, what I would say is that the, the valuations at which people are getting into stocks, you know, we're up 127% off the March 2009 sure. low. We're at a level historically, if you look at something like the Schiller PE, um, where stocks have not had a, a very high return. They've returned less than 1% real over the next decade. Yeah. That's really what, you know, what I think people should be focusing on, is that people are willing to accept a lower return. It doesn't mean that we're in a new bull market. It means that people are, you know, are willing to accept the risk. You know, if you had several months of, of very high inflows and prices going much higher, then I'd be more concerned about the, the, the flow data. But I think it's too early to, to say that we're, this is some kind of writing on the wall sign of a tipping point. Yeah. All right. Spencer Jacob, thank you very much. Thank you. Good column today.